Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Glenn W. asks, how do I determine my field of view for my telescope and camera? Now this is a, a common question that many people like to know in advance if the target they're going to shoot is going to fit in their telescope and CCD. Now Ron Rodowski has this program called CCD Calculator and if you input the values of your equipment it'll show you the target and what field of view you can expect to get with your equipment. And in Glenn's case he has a uh, ADED refractor and you can do this by simply doing a Google search and you can find the specifications about your equipment. So let's take a look here and look at the specifications and what we uh, see in this example here is that the aperture is 80 millimeters the focal length is 600 millimeters and the focal ratio is 7.5 so this information is what we'll need to uh, jot down and use in the CCD calculator for uh, Glenn's camera he has a Canon EOS uh, 450D and uh, the sensor size is 22.8 by 14.8 millimeters uh, but we need to get the pixel uh, uh, width and height of uh, the uh, actual pixel size is 5.19 so we can use that value but if we scroll down here a little bit further uh, that's the number that we need we need the sensor uh, resolution which is 4278 by 2852 to download the CCD calculator it's at newastro.com I'll put a link in the description below also when you look at this page uh, there is a, an additional a photo library with many more targets that uh, Neil Fleming from Fleming Astrophotography has uh, uh, put up there. This is the uh, front panel that you'll see and by default there are some uh, different types of telescopes in here. Uh, you may get lucky and you may find your telescope and you can just select it there without adding it but chances are you'll probably end up having to add your telescope and that's what makes this tool so powerful is that you can customize it to any equipment and the same goes for the cameras the the cameras uh, have a, a few cameras in here you may get lucky it might be in there let's add Glenn's equipment right now now his telescope will will click here to add and a new window will pop open and it'll say add a, a new telescope so we'll just call this Celestron 80 ED and the aperture we know is 80 millimeters so we'll put that in there and the focal ratio is 7.5 so we'll just hit save now now we've got that telescope added now we're going to add the camera to here so his camera is the uh, 450 Canon 450 so let's go ahead and click add new camera again that pops open a, a window 450D and this is the information that we wrote down earlier so the pixel size is 5.19 and sometimes they'll have different uh, dimensions but this one here is the same so 5.19 and the chip size now the chip size here is 4278 by 2852 and if you had any kind of like an astro cam that had binning modes on it you could put the binning modes in there we're just going to use the the single uh, one binning mode right now we'll just hit save now and now we can see right away that this is the field of view that Glenn's camera would would get with this telescope and as you can see right here this is in this example uh, that's the Lagoon Nebula and if you wanted to change your target you would just click down here uh, select any one of the uh, other targets that are that are in there and uh, it would then show uh, that target inside there now one of the things that that a, a lot of people do um, is sometimes they'll uh, want to uh, maybe put a barlow or a reducer on here and this little feature right here is kinda neat uh, I really like it let's say you had a a, a 0.8 focal reducer right look how much you saw immediately how that changed you get more of a 
a, a, a field of view on there. Now let's take that same thing and put it as a, a, a 2x Barlow. And then you saw how it just immediately it, uh, it expanded. And so you can see that. Also, another thing to note here is that while you put in the Barlow or the reducer settings, it'll tell you the, uh, the focal length and the uh, f-speed. I wanted to thank Glenn for sending his question today. And if you have a astrophotography question or topic you would like to see in a video, please leave your comment or question in the comment section below and I will see if I can make a future video of that. If this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.